Welcome to another devlog. In the last video we began creating a hyper casual mobile game by taking inspiration of a number of successful games on the Google Play Store. We pointed out some key ingredients to have in our game and created a color palette, skybox, buildings and some other surroundings. This week we are going to build the actual game mechanic and gameplay. I started off by downloading a simple vehicle controller to have something to begin from. This is a controller for cars, so we have to modify it to fit our needs. My plan is that our play will be using one of those electric scooters that you are seeing everywhere in the cities right now. I started modifying and scaling our car model to something that have more the proportions of a scooter, and then some simple blocks to be our temporary player character. So uh, say hello to Albino Creeper on a scooter. I started to experiment with the physics and the driving mechanics and oh boy it wasn't easy to make it somewhat look and feel like a scooter. I tilted the scooter a little bit more and it instantly felt more satisfying, but still way too much drifting to look like a scooter, so I adjusted the physics by moving the sphere that handles the driving physics backwards and suddenly the driving instantly became more responsive and easy to control. I also tried it out on my android phone as well and it felt pretty good I have to say. Ok, so we have to model the scooter and our main character. I continue to avoid Blender and taking the shortcut by using Unity's own tool ProBuilder. Next up was to put some colors on our scooter from the color palette. Then I made the wheel marks and the particle effects behind the scooter look a bit better to get that juiciness. Due to the time constraint that we have, I looked at some old assets that I have and this low poly character set seemed perfect for our needs. There are police officers, street men, road workers... Uh... Anyway, let's pick one of the characters. The guy with the green cap kinda matches our scooter, so let's go with him for now. That beard freaks me out, but luckily we only have to see his back most of the time. Then I made two animations, one for turning right and one for turning left. I also implemented a ragdoll ability to our player to activate when he crashes and falls off the scooter. Don't worry, he's just tired. Ok, time has come to create our nemesis that we are being chased by. The very, very angry policeman. And this is not just a random police officer, this is like the hero of the police force. To make the chase somewhat fair and square, we are giving him a segue. I created an animation rig for the policeman's spine to be able to look at the player when chasing. Also tried to make some animations for the Segway ride. Remember in the last video where I said I would make this game in only 2 weeks? Spoiler alert, that's not gonna happen. So I'm giving myself a couple of weeks more and then release it on the Play Store. In the next episode I will start designing some levels. Feel free to drop a comment regarding ideas for level design below. And don't forget, subscribe!